Hello, what's up and welcome to the channel. Sorry guys for so long time not uploading any video in those two weeks. If I'm not wrong, I was kind of busy and whatnot. But let's get straight to the point. Um, today guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually uh, play um, Super Mario Odyssey on the Yuzu emulator. If you don't know, when if you, if you live under the rock, I'm sorry for that. Uh, that uh, Super Mario Odyssey is actually fully playable, fully playable at this time on Yuzu emulator. A big um, thanks to the developer and the supporter of this project um, and a big shout out actually to BSOD Gaming for actually um, letting me know that's actually um, also should I say for sharing his video that it that's actually um, Summer Odyssey is playable at the time and uh, today guys I want to show you my performance on um, on the latest Yuzu Canary build and how much FPS I do gonna get out of uh, it at this moment? We are gonna check out the title screen. We are gonna go to the Sand Kingdom, and we are gonna go to the Cap Capy Kingdom. If I'm not wrong, I I never did I never played Super Mario Odyssey, so this is the first time. And this video is actually sponsored by my uh, by my by my brother because he owns the game, and I do not support piracy and what if ever I dumped the game from his game from his Nintendo switch for the sake of this video uh, of course I do not judge anybody it's up to you if you want if you do it legally or if you if you do it download it from anywhere else I'm just saying for my own self I do not support any any piracy what if ever because I think the developers the really deserve uh, the money for the, for the hard work. With anything for do, guys, let's hop in to the title screen and let's see how the performance is there with the audio quality and whatnot. And uh, yeah, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned in the intro, first of all, we're gonna go to the title screen. So it's from my here. I hope um, the audio is is there 100 percently Okay, I'm not gonna assume 100 percently but you can say at least 85%. The audio is there, it's not the clearest one, but this does work. So, um, the FPS you might see on your screen with the River Tuner, uh, you can see everything, what's going on with the GPU, CPUs and the RAM usage. And we get 60 FPS steady, okay, it slips to 59, but that is normal. So, as you might see, uh, the re it renders quite well, not perfect, as you might see, there are some kind of white lines on Mario's uh, head. And on the hair, resume, two player, new game, action guide, option. Let's go to action. To action. As you might see, the the menu is quite uh, well um, done. Regular mode, assist mode. As you might see, it works. Not a manage there as well. Controls, everything works. And you can do language setting. Here's the only problem that I have to say that actually nobody is talking about it, that it actually doesn't render correctly, um, possibly in a bug, but, well, I just want to show you, but it's still, it's, um, and by the way, as you might see, the frames are going down from 60 to 52 and whatnot. If we go back, the um, frames gonna go up again. It has to definitely something to do this, this, there should be a bug. So when it goes to the language, guys, you will not know what language you actually choose from uh, by sight if you have the origin game then well you can do that but English well goes well for everybody so this was the title screen and whatnot and if you're curious about to know if you can actually resume the game from the title screen yes you can you can do so so um, this was the title screen and uh, yeah let's hop to the desert we are right now at the desert and uh, as you might see the audio is there as well it's not it's 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 lagging because of the FPS it's not 60 FPS so the audio will be laggy as well it's same for the gameplay so uh, with only standing here in front of the ODC you see I get 26 FPS everything is rendered right as you might see we had a like a little bit of stop there it's stuck for a little bit but this is normal to the fact that this the game is not quite compatibly still though the text is on point the odyssey needs 60 more this is the the moons as you might see as i say i run around the odyssey i get stable 25 to 20 
7 fps sometimes lower and as you might see as well when i do rotate the camera around mario you get i get this fish eye um fish eye glitching or effect i should i say that is uh, caused uh, obviously by a bug what will be fixed by the user team hopefully and the uh, and the newest updates on yuzu so around all this year, i get 22 25 27 there we go um gameplays does work now is it is it enjoyable uh, in my opinion not it's not the best game experience uh, we have some hacks and some hacks here and there as you might see so the experience the, when it's when it goes to fu fully playable yes i do agree uh, i did play from the beginning till here to the desert i play it on uh, on my pc and it didn't never crashed or something like that so this is the outside performance of course uh, when we look up in the sky uh, we will get actually performance increase not quite not quite like a big increase but 12 25 26 if you look uh, to the front to the city we get 15 to 14 fps and if we look at the ground like that we get actually to the high to the high 20s and to the low uh, yeah to the high 20s actually and almost to the 30 fps as you might see uh, now the heck up as you might see it stops every time so uh, when it goes to enjoyable it is not all right now, now, now let's go inside the odyssey and show you the the performance there and if you might be curious and want to know actually if the game gonna crash or gonna work when you go um, from the from the hub from the world into like other spaces, no, it will work fine, and it will not crash on you. Um, to my surprising, I uh, we I get actually 30 FPS inside all this. See, as you might see, the gameplay is smoother right now. Um, yeah, because because of course uh, it is it is like inside and there's not much to see not much to render so this is obvious that you get some uh, good good performance inside here and from what i noticed guys as well uh, the gpu does not use as much as i expected to but this is normal to the fact that um, um that it's not quite there yet with the emulation it is still early uh, in uh, in progress and yes in development sorry early in development so the gpu is not using his full power otherwise we will we will we would see a very high uh, performance boost but unfortunately at right now we have only t uh, 25 percent is you is the gpu i used and uh, rams is like the, the ram usage is like unbelievable i have 16 gigabyte of ram uh, on my pc and I, they are already using 11 gigabyte and uh, and half and 623 um, to run the game. And as you might see, I get 20, 20, 31 FPS inside the Odyssey and whatnot. Um, so this was the performance uh, on in the desert and in the Odyssey. Um, now let's hop to another world. I think I will, I'm gonna go to the Cappy one, and I'm gonna see you there. Peace out. We are right now in the Cap Kingdom, and as you might see, with only staying still and uh, being behind the Odyssey, I get 20, 25 to 28 FPS at the moment. But as soon as I I do I move, uh, the performance will decrease a little bit. For some reason, when you when you stay around the Odyssey, you get actually quite playable FPS. All right what is what is like okay like not it is playable better than uh better than better than nothing like 25 to 28 fps is actually okay if you if you really want, like want to play the game but it is not it's not enjoyable and the graphics are still not there um i watched the uh, bsod gaming's uh video on uh, when 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 it when he talks about that it's just is actually uh, playable for some reason his graphics does look better than mine he might do did some um, workarounds and whatnot i'm not so deep into into that 
and uh, so I don't know if there's any thing that can do so that the graphics actually looks better but other than that everything looks fine as you might see as soon as I go close to the Odyssey I will get really good FPS I don't know why if you know in the comment section let me know I would love to hear uh, as you might see the fisheye effect is is the worst thing so far at the moment um, the audio is there and we can see as you might see the game renders from far away as well let's go now up the hill and uh, watch the city like that without the move we get into 16 13 it's go up and there the RAM usage is crazy and again GPU is not even used 50% uh, at the time but I think if they implant if they get if they get the emulator to use actually your GPU uh, the same with that they did with the Citra emulator I think we will see a very high FPS increase and a performance and the game will be actually quite playable I think um, by the way, notice guys that if you don't have i7 uh, CPU and uh, a very good one, I don't think you even get close to this performance that I have right now. I have an i7 6, uh, 6, 6700 uh, with a 2.60 2 gigahertz and with a boost, I think with the turbo, it's get up to 3.2. 3 or 20 and by the way if you're asking why it's like that I have a C I have a laptop it's an Alienware laptop so this is why my CPU is not that strong as it is when it with the with the normal PC so keep that in mind as well I have 16 gigabyte of RAM I have a, C a, a i7 CPU 6700 with 2066 uh, gigahertz to 2320 uh, um, I have a 1060 GPU GeForce GTX and uh, yeah that is, that's all that is my specs I will link my specs of course in the screen and I will put it in the uh, comment section below uh, in the description below sorry so this is the performance on um, in the uh, I think this is Head Kingdom and as you might see here we we have as well a frog hump, you know, jumping around here uh, the performance does not actually increase it does uh, in decrease increase it does actually increase uh, but the glitching is there uh, so um, I would not agree uh, I do not agree with anybody that says it is playable or enjoyable it is playable if you want to play like this but the question is um, um, BS, BSO the gaming his, G, his CPU keep it in mind is uh, 8700 i7 8700 one the latest one with 4700 if I'm not wrong um, gigahertz so uh, it's quite a, it's quite a difference between my CPU and his so of course he got better performance uh, and he gets actually the game to the high 30s to the low 40s I think like he gets around 40 till 50 fps depends on where he is and uh, in which area uh, unfortunately I didn't play uh, so far that I gonna be in the cloud kingdom I think in the cloud kingdom guys on the next video I will do there will be a better performance because there's less things to render uh, but it's not the case here in the head kingdom because in the head kingdom there's so much to render for the game and the performance is not quite there so and all in all is it playable or is it fully playable yes it is full playable on used to emulator uh, is it is it an enjoyable experience at the moment right now no I would say no it is not and uh, yeah um, I will do another video on the cloud kingdom guys uh, when I play to this point of the game on the emulator because I want to see if it for my own self if it's actually fully playable or not so uh, and of course there will be a, a setup guide on Yuzu how to set it up from the begin to the to the end so you can actually run your games on it in case you're interested in that but that's all saying guys once again a big shout out to BSOD Gaming 
Unfortunately, I don't, I don't have the same CPU as him. But this is my performance on, uh, and now the latest build is it's, it's the Canary build. This is my performance that I get 25 to, to 30 FPS. And uh, with this one, see guys, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day. And bye bye, else. Keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emo from Emo Gaming. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like, share it with your friends, and let them know that Super Mario Odyssey is on, uh, is right the moment, in the moment, fully uh, playable on the Yuzu emulator, but not enjoyable, unfortunate. But I think in those two months we will see a quiet performance uh, if the team keeps up with the. Uh, Great work. With that all said, guys, I'm gonna get tech out for you now for reals. Have a good have a good day and peace out.